believe that clubs like the Rugby Club would have ensured that students were properly educated and served as a counter to negative peer groups in secondary schools. Any student exposed to both of these positive influences will be properly equipped to challenge the temptation of drug abuse throughout his or her lifetime. But it is not too late. The problem has been identified and machinery has been set in motion to tackle it. We, must, we also must ensure that in tackling or that in dealing with this problem we leave no stone unturned. I hereby appeal to the Labour State Government, governmental and non-governmental organizations, philanthropic agencies, companies and individuals to join hands in ensuring that this book is available to students for their enlightenment. I am grateful to the National Youth Service Corps for the opportunity and encouragement given to me during the writing of this book. I am grateful to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency for their support in the production of this book and its subsequent use by them as part of the enlightenment materials. I am grateful to the Drug Abuse Control Committee who were delighted with the work and included its launching as part of today's program. Finally, I am grateful to all who have, despite their busy schedules, made out time to, to come and identify with me and support the effort to wipe out drug abuse in our society. Our prayer is that the vision of a drug-free Nigeria will come sooner than expected. Our desire is that the children we send to school do not come back as drug addicts or victims of drug abuse. Thank you all and God bless you. Government College in Kolo, who will just be putting a copy of the book. And Sarah in College is calling. And Sarah in College is calling. Our warrior, Kiro B. Grammar School. question goes this way. As government is waging war against the abuse and misuse of drugs, why should government allow or permit the advertisement of drugs in our daily? Thank you. Definitely, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow colleagues of my school and other schools, my question goes this way. On TV, after advertising cigarettes, advertisement of cigarettes, the right federal ministry of health Ones that tobacco smoking is dangerous to health. Why is it that we still find people selling this and they still tell us it's dangerous to health? Why? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow students. My name is. Very excellent, man. My name is Vicky Moa. I'm from Senior Boys Secondary School. The last speaker before the national group mentioned that alcohol is part of drugs, as in beer, whatever condition, that is part of drugs. Since those things are drugs, why do they allow them to produce it in our country? Since those things are drugs. Thank you, Lady 
my question uh, my fellow students my question they will ask my question but my own question to so addition to what you are saying why is that the this thing the program in interrogation it attracts people to do what they don't want to do so people because of the this thing because of the uh, advertising they normally go into, into drugs abuse why is it that Good afternoon, Your Excellency. My own question is just like, in view of our enormous of drug abuse among our youth, do you think there are enough rehabilit rehabilitation centers in Nigeria? Thank you. After the gentleman in white coming, please, that would be the last person. I said five, I have more than five already. Good morning, it's my excellency, the speaking child. My name is Anthony Rio from Sintan Boy Secondary School. I would like to support my colleagues from my school saying, if it is true that taking all this alcohol or Ogogoro or Hamwai is being is known as drugs, it's, it's supposed not to be allowed to be advertised, maybe in the TV or on the radio. If it is true or just like that, I will please want the, the First Lady of the Lagos State to please encourage people, or uh, even not trusting, not to be allowed to be advertised in the TV. Thank you. Good afternoon all. My name is Boma Tudobi. I'm from Victoria Island Secondary School and this is my question. What do you assume stimulates you to taking drugs? What do you assume that, that stimulates you to take drugs? That's my question. <laughs> My name is Ella and I'm from Niger Christian Secondary School in Papua. My question is that, what effort will the Ministry of Education do to see that this, this free club, this free, this drug free club are established and sustained in schools? What effort will the Ministry of Education do about it? Thank you. Good day everyone, my name is Daddy Oti Precious. I'm from Jessica Secondary Friday School. And my question is that since these drugs are dangerous to health, why is it that government can import them to our society? Good afternoon everybody. My name is Sun Bisi Gudu. I am from Awira Jeremy Grammar School. My question is, can a madman on the road with the effect of drugs still be useful to himself and his society? My question is that, my name is Queen Odia from State High School. My question is that, in rehabilitation centers, why do they, why do they tend to recommend drugs for those who they bring in for treatment? Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow students. My name is Emmanuel Awan, I'm also from State High School of Alimo Show. Um, my question goes like this. Say these drugs are dangerous to health. I want to really know, and I also want my dear students to know, if really it's dangerous to a pregnant woman, maybe in the process of affecting the offspring, if really the drugs taken in by maybe if a pregnant woman is a drug addict, does it really affect the offspring in the process? Thank you very much. Uh, that will be all the questions that will be all protocols of that. I will not bother to call the name, names of those who get the questions. I'll just take them one by one. Some of them will overlap, so I might not go over those. The first person asked about the difference between misuse and abuse. Uh, when you are said to be misusing a drug, you are either using that drug outside a doctor's prescription. And I'll give you an example. Probably one time in your life you have your friend say, uh, I couldn't sleep. And the doctor asked me to take the libra. And so you are at home, you just for one reason or the other couldn't sleep, and you go and procure libra yourself. 
you are misusing that drug at that particular point in time because what will make you sleep might not be Libron, might not be any drug. Probably you are hungry. <laughs> you are said to abuse a drug when you begin to use it persistently outside medical uh, recommendation. So you see that misuse and abuse link each other. They, are, they can be used interchangeably. But the persistence becomes a complete abuse. You, you prescribe it for yourself this month, two months time you prescribe it for yourself and then by the, probably by the time you use it a third time you can get hooked. You discover that once you cannot, uh, you don't take it, you cannot do whatever functions you are supposed to be performing. I use sleep as an example. It can be so with even alcohol. Some ladies simply say, well, if I don't take stuff, I can't sleep. And every evening you see them, they take a bottle of stuff. It graduates from a small one to a big one. Uh, the second question was, why are adverts allowed on air where we know that, say, alcohol is harmful to the body? So the same question came up in respect of cigarettes, where somebody asked, uh, Mr. Federal Minister of Health advises that uh, tobacco is dangerous to health. I think they've changed it that it can lead to early death. Adverts are allowed because we discover that government generates a lot of revenue from these products. So this issue is an issue that can be taken up with uh, our legislative bodies now. Even in the United States, there is this war that keeps going on. Why do you allow something that is harmful to be produced? Well, the tobacco industry accounts for a very large percentage of the workforce. A lot of revenue is generated from beer and uh, alcohol. So it is the economic factor, I think, that makes uh, government allow the sale. Coupled with the fact that moderation, if you don't use it in excess, it is not totally harmful. There are certain studies that say red wine is good for cardiac patients. So if you are using it in moderation, it is not harmful. And that's why they allow advertisement to warn you that if you take a little of it, it might not be harmful. So that's the jinx that we cannot unravel. And why government still allow advertisement and the sale of these items. Somebody asked about rehabilitation homes. Yes, we have, we have quite a number of rehabilitation homes, psychiatric hospitals, home, rehabilitation homes. They are well spread. Uh, we have uh, of recent private organizations, churches, NGOs, establishing treatment centers and rehabilitation homes. Around us here we have the Yaga Psychiatric Hospital, which doubles into rehabilitation. We have uh, Aro Psychiatric Hospital in Abeokuta. We have Lucielu in Benin. We have one in Mina. We have one in Medugri. We have one in Zuru. And then of the churches, you have uh, so many of them in Lagos. So if you have anybody that needs counseling, rehabilitation, and aftercare, please send them to NDLA. We have addresses and we can give you where you can take such people to, or we can help to refer those people to any of the appropriate and start drug free clubs. I'm happy the representative of the Honorable Commissioner for Education has already given that directive. We want the situation in which from now on we'll be hearing in the news, in our homes, activities relating 
to drop free clothes everywhere. We also wish to inform you that these activities will be extended to even motor parks and other non-governmental organizations so that on the whole from those mostly affected the idea attitude and practice of drug freeness will germinate we believe that this kind of advocacy will be sustained by us and by you and at the end of the day our society will have gone a long way in eradicating drug abuse in our society. Thank you very much.